Hey guys, how are you? This week we have something very exciting that's happening and I'm gonna take you along and it is that my husband and I are going to Toronto. We're going to the city, but while we are there, I am going to be going thrift shopping. And by that, I mean many, many thrift stores because there are very few thrift stores where I am currently. So I'm gonna take you along thrift shopping. We're gonna look for home decor stuff, obviously for this home. And also I'm gonna look for some stuff maybe that can have like a little bit of DIY, a little bit of upcycling to it. And if I find something that would be a good upcycle DIY candidate, I will do that later on in the video when we get back. We are flying out tomorrow morning and need to pack tonight. But in the meantime, I think I'm just gonna take it easy a little bit um, in preparation for that. So I think we're just gonna head outside, play a little Frisbee because it's a little bit warmer out today and then maybe get a coffee, come back and pack, and then we'll be off. And I'll take you along for all the adventure, all the thrifting fun, all the finds, and all the DIY that comes along with it. So let us go outside to play Frisbee because I found a Frisbee at the dollar store that was really cute and really fun to play with, so I couldn't resist. Far, far shot. Eh? Oh, no! <laughs> Well, just the deer over here. Hello. Bye bye. On our way to Tim Hortons. Do they know what Tim Hortons is? Tim Hortons oh, is like the Canadian. What is it? Like Canadian Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, pretty much. At first, I thought I'd work around it. I'd work around it But you turned out to be so different Yeah, you turned out to be nothing like them I changed my mind and got behind it I got behind it So it is actually really early. It's like 9 a.m. because we caught such an early flight. We're just in the rental car. We stopped off at Walmart to pick up a couple things and we're about to go to my husband's parents' house, which will be nice. So here's the plan, okay? So I'm gonna do some thrifting. I'm not sure what we're gonna do while we're here that I will be showing you, but I know for sure I will be going thrifting and taking you along and we'll see what we can find. I love thrift shopping, as you guys know. And in the town that I'm, that we're in currently, there's just like not very many thrift stores. So this is like a good opportunity to go thrift shopping and see what we can find and have some of that fun. So yeah, we'll see what else I get up to. We might have a day where we like go out to dinner or something like that. I'll take you along and we'll have a good time. So yeah, I am very tired. And before this, I was taking a nap. <laughs> It is currently the next day and we are about to head off to the thrift store and uh, I am really excited just because, you know, not a lot of thrifting options where we currently are, so this would be fun. So let's head on over and we will see what we find. Say hello to my husband. <laughs> 
Take a look. Are you ready to go in? Let's do it. <laughs> Value Village. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's like a... For flowers? <laughs> I feel like it's like you can put in a range. Is this glass? It is. Is it? I think. Oh, these are cool. Okay, so what do we think about this face here? I feel like it's it's pretty cute. It's three ninety nine. It's a nice shade, but you know, is this worth packing and bringing back home with us? You know, the added complexity of that. <laughs> we'll think about it. What's this thing? <laughs> is this nice? Oh, that's what you were talking about. I thought you were talking about this. Uh, <laughs> no, I was talking about this. Ah, look at the bobble. It's a bingo player. Hello. She's a bingo person. Oh, that makes so much sense now. What is that? I don't know, for a candle? Look at the doggos. Cute. My husband just pointed this out. It's a mini mini bathroom. Oh my god, there's two of them. Oh my gosh, they're like a set. That's cute. <laughs> they look so real. Look at the slippers. This is a cool pot. Is this just me? I've never had a glass pot, but this is really cool. I will not be getting this, but I like it. Do we like this? This is pretty nice. A little bit pricey at $10, but like a very nice look. What do you think this was originally used for? What do you think this was originally used for? A bud vase. A bud vase? I don't think so, but I think it could be used as a bud vase oil it does have like a little lip to it hmm. we'll keep it as an option this has my mini fireplace vibes doesn't it if you know you know it's like shell i like it, it. Like it's like well, obviously older style but i feel like it could be modernized i don't get how it would attach actually it, hmm. like a... it looks like this actually attaches the other way like this yeah. Oh. But you could put the plug. The plug through it, yeah. Okay, after like five minutes, we decided to put that lamp back. Although we did figure out how we could use it. I just don't think it will go in my space. I pulled up a bunch of pictures and I just can't picture somewhere where it can go. I'm sad. I do feel like it would have looked nice over a dining table though, in case you find one at your local thrift store. Yeah? <laughs> What is that? Oh my god, it's like a baby. It's, it's like a play, a play iron and boy kit. Okay, we didn't actually get anything in the first store, which is okay. Also, you may see me with a mask on in some clips and not with a mask on in other clips. Wearing a mask is currently not mandatory here, but I'm trying to wear one, but I recognize that the only mask I have looks super industrial and doesn't look the best. But I wanna be safe, you know, cause we're gonna be flying and everything. So I am trying to wear one. So please excuse how that looks and please excuse the inability to see my mouth, etc. but hopefully we're good. So we're gonna go to the next thrift store. It's fun to go thrift shopping, I swear. Well, at least for me, less for him, but still fun overall. We've arrived at the second value village. I think we need this. <laughs> what is it? We'll never know. This one's cute, but I have no need for it at all whatsoever. Little bunny. They want you for your rings and stuff. Okay, I find this so cute for three ninety nine. Look at it. Like, look at the finish on it. It's so cute, but I have no need for it at all. Okay, I decided I'm gonna get it. Okay, this isn't in a good shape, 
but I feel like I can make something like this and make my own garbage can for the bathroom. Good idea. Oh, I see. gives me Mia Maples vibes. Does it not? So cute. Oh my God, this is a coconut. I think, wasn't it? Definitely a coconut. <laughs> okay, so I'm in this little section here and someone needs to tell me what are these for? Because I've been wondering in like every single time I've seen them. They're too little to be for eggs, aren't they? Unless eggs were really, really small. Also, there's a lot of eggs. This is like, there would be a lot of spots. My husband just said maybe they're for dips, but I feel like they're too small for dips also. Someone please let me know. This is so cute. What is this? This side table is pretty cool. $29.99, but it's real marble on the top. And the base, I feel like if you just brightened it with maybe some gold spray paint or something, or if you darkened it and maybe spray painted it black, I feel like that could look super, super cool. But of course, the question is, how would I bring it back home on a plane? <laughs> maybe we could get it, if we got it, yeah, maybe we could- Come pick it up and I'll draw it. Yeah. <laughs> to be decided, I'll have to think on it. Off to another value village with my mask. this but how would I ever bring this back? Ship it in bubble wrap. This could look cool with our table actually. Yeah that's what I was thinking. It's got white and black. Does anyone remember when I turned this into a lamp? These are IKEA CD holders. Whoop. Another day. Another day of a little bit of rain. We are heading downtown today. And I'm going to see my friend, and my husband's going to see his brother, and who knows what we'll do after that. Good morning. I am now back in my hometown and I wanted to do something with you because I feel like if I'm recording it, I will have the motivation to actually do it versus, well, not for a really long time. Um, and I wanted to show you something quick. So when I was thrifting, I got this ice bucket. It was $6 and it's really nice actually. It's nice like leather what do you call this? Like a cognac leather material. I don't know if it's genuine or not. Who knows, but it's definitely an ice bucket. Pretty cool. And I actually got this for a specific purpose because you know my bathroom, how I like got a little stool for my bathroom. The stool is just sitting in that corner. And I said when I did that, like I think I must have done the floor maybe. Who knows what video that was. Anyway, when I got the stool and put it in the corner, I said, I want to put a little plant on this, like a little greenery plant. And so I was searching for quite a while to find the perfect greenery plant. And I found this baby fiddle leaf faux plant because there's no light in there. And I bought it, but then I needed a plant pot for it to go in. 
cue the ice bucket because I feel like this is like such a nice color. Really looks high end. I think I can just take off the handles somehow. I don't know, maybe like somehow there must be a way. If I can take off the handles, then I can like take these nails, these decorative nails and maybe like bang them in so they're flush so they don't really stick out. And then all of a sudden this can be transformed into a plant pot. So I figured let's do that so that I can have a nice plant pot instead of this ice bucket. Although it does look very nice like this. If I had like, I mean, I don't drink, so there would be no reason for me to ever have a bar. Okay, let's do this. Okay, but first, before I get into that DIY, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Family Island. They are the sponsor of today's video and I'm really excited to have them as a sponsor actually because I love playing their game. Let me just explain the backstory of this. You know how I don't really like city life and henceforth we moved here where there's so much more nature around. And I've had this long-standing fantasy, I'll call it, of um, basically living in the country and like having a homestead and growing my own food. And increasingly as the years have gone by, I've really, really been drawn towards nature and using things that come from nature and having more wholesome foods and stuff like that has been really interesting to me. And Family Island is like the perfect escape into that kind of life and experience and that's why I love it so much. It's basically this game where you follow this family that lives on an island and you have to build up their island with different things, a mill, a garden, plant corn and roots and stuff like that. You're going around on your island in this game and doing all the things that make things sustainable using nature for this family. So it's really, really fun actually, I love it. So just to show you, cause I have it here open, it's like here I planted some roots and corn and now I'm like harvesting them and I can go ahead and like replant them. It's so nice. And then you can use the stuff that you planted to create like goat feed or to make a meal for the family. It's really, really nice. I really love it. Just before this, I completed a task to build a bathroom, which I thought was really cool. So in order to complete these tasks, you need energy points and red rubies. And the game overall is just so adorable. The family is really adorable. My husband and I are actually playing on our separate devices and we have a competition going to see who can get to level 10 first. I'm currently on level seven, so I think that I'm winning. <laughs> the app is available to download on the App Store as well as on Google Play. If you're interested in playing the game, please go through the link that's in my description box. It's free to download either way, but going through the link helps my channel. So thank you so much to Family Island for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get on back to transforming my thrifted ice bucket into plant pot, hopefully, fingers crossed. Let's go. So first I'm going to attempt to just remove the sticker. Oh, <laughs> lol. I thought I'd need a little hair dryer. You know, I got my rubbing alcohol out so I could like, you know, get rid of the sticky residue. Not needed, yo, not needed. We're good, we got this. That was sturdy at least. At least you know if you bought this as a ice bucket, it was gonna last. <laughs> okay, so at least we got the handles off. That was harder than I expected. Now I wanted to use these little edge 
not able to get off the handle. I tried to cut through it and I just feel like it doesn't work. That kind of, that almost might have worked. Oh my God. Oh my God, a miracle. I got it off. in no I feel this is I'm on to something though I'm on to something because the hole is too small so I think I'll just drill a bigger hole well you know what they say there are no kingdoms without Success. Thank God, because my psychology could not take it going any harder. Yes, even braver than the bravest. So let's go. Stop the race. So I grabbed a couple things to put in it, like literally the most random things. I have two coasters that were like spare coasters, a random box, and some pieces of wood like literally just perfect and then I have some moss which I'm gonna put in okay I cut out a little circle it's just out of like an ice cream cone box <laughs> okay let's fill this with moss well, you know what they say. There are no Okay, so I actually just removed one of the boxes, this box to be specific, so it sat a little bit lower. And then with the moss on it, definitely a few millimeters there, but I think it looks so good. Should I have glued this down to the cardboard? Probably, in case it ever gets knocked over. <sighs> I'll update you if it ever does get knocked over and then there's moss all over everywhere. But hopefully that doesn't happen. However, fully aware that it could. I'm going to now put this in the bathroom and I'll show you what it looks like. Are you ready? This is what it looks like in here. I love it so much. I think it's really pretty. The moss trick definitely makes the plant look super real. And the plant pot is just stunning. I am literally so obsessed with how that plant pot turned out. I think it is perfection and such a good thrift flip. And I'm so glad that I transformed it from being that ice bucket to being this masterpiece in my opinion. Either way, thanks so much for watching. I wanna say thank you once again to Family Island for sponsoring this video. If you want to give it a shot and play, which I promise you it's very fun and a great little activity to do, please go through the link in my description box to download it, it's free. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. I will see you next week. I love you guys so much. Bye.